All right, so we're going to look at the bibliography right now. I had already changed it, so we're going to just bring it back. Originally, we had um, the bibliography on the same page as the end of our paper, and that's definitely not going to work. So what you're going to do is you're just going to very simply, there, it's another way to do this, but we'll do this the simple way. You're going to make sure that your bibliography is all the way down at the bottom, section number four. You've got your three sources, which is what you need, but the one thing you need to do is you need to make sure that they're in alphabetical order. So we see that this name starts with a B. We're going to move it up to the top. Now think about it for a second. L, M, N, O. We definitely need to move Patrick up to the top for Patrick Meyer. And we've got three sources. Now in case you didn't know what source you actually, or you had a new source, we're going to pretend that this news article right here was included in your paper. So we've got Biofuels Platform Switzerland, which makes perfect sense, and we want to cite it. So we're going to copy the website, we're going to go to the, a new web page, easybib.com, which we've seen before in class, and you're going to put in the website. So just control V to enter the website right there. Let's go ahead and cite this, and we'll see what information we can get. Um, there was no author, but we can check again. Um, we look through this. We can look. At, we see that there are some companies, some biofuels companies. We go down. We see some charts. We see some graphs. And what we don't see is we don't see an author. So if you look down here, pretty at the bottom, you can find authors for the most part, but there's none here, so we'll skip it. We do know, however, that it's very, very, very recent and it's up to date. So we know that the year, oh, we know, that, I'm sorry, website title is Production and Consumption of Biodiesel in Switzerland. And the organization is Biofuels Platform. We know that it's published this year and we know that we accessed it today. Let's go ahead and create citations. We've not added all the information, but that's okay. And our citation is right here. The only thing we're going to add once we put it into our bibliography is um, oh, see that it starts with a P. Is the website. So we put the carrot. We go back to our website. We're going to copy it and paste it again. Close carrot and period. Oh, we see that the fonts are different, so we're going to fix that, obviously. Times New Roman, size 12. And look right there, you've got your last source, and you're good to go.